You're probably pretty confused, and that's fine. It's to be expected. But, look, I have to explain all this constantly, and I don't really care to do it again. I'd say I do it hundreds of times a day, but time doesn't really exist here. So, look, all you need to do is walk outside into the hallway and into your first trial. Your body will be reenacting events exactly as they had occurred before. Simply put, your free will won't exactly be that free anymore. I'll be watching you so I can tally up your score, but fair warning, I typically deal with the, um, let's just say the people I judge typically score on the lower end, so <laughs> have fun with that on your mind. So you understand what you're supposed to do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you can't respond. I've set all this up so you can't talk. I know, I know, it seems a bit harsh, but if you had to listen to people panicking for eternity, you'd get pretty sick of it too. Oh, where am I? What's going on? I want to see my family. It gets annoying. You know, it's almost like no one even reads the sign I put up. All right, enough talk. Head out into the hall and start your first trial. Let's get this over with. How are you holding up, Evelyn? You're not looking too hot. No, I I'm fine. Uh, just... shit. Looking at this makes me feel sick. I'll get used to it. Yeah, it's hard the first few times. You're not a real investigator until you don't puke on the body. <laughs> uh, Matt... Ugh. Mm. Let's talk about anything else. Did you check the report? No, not yet. I'll check it out. Try not to lose your lunch while I'm at it. <laughs> Very funny. Says here that someone driving nearby heard a gunshot at the location. When they came to check it out, they saw the body. Only one shot was heard. No assailant has been identified. Not much more to go off of. What does it say? Just that some people heard a gunshot and saw the body. I'm not working with much. You hang tight. I'm going to have a look around. <sighs> well, Ellen has a long ways to go, but I think she's going to do well on the force. One of the most promising rookies I've met. Just takes time. A few more ride-alongs will do her good. This knife has blood on it. Fresh blood. 
Had to have been used in whatever altercation happened here. Hmm. This truck sure has seen better days. I'd be surprised if you could even get it running. I need to look for more evidence to take pictures of. Shouldn't be too much left. Maybe I should find everything in front of the cabin first. Christ, it smells like shit in here. Whoever lived here wasn't too keen on keeping the place tidy. Whoever lives here is probably running their own little independent pharmacy. I can see why. This stuff isn't exactly over the counter. Looks like a list of clients. Whatever happened outside could be a deal gone wrong. This guy was definitely prepping for something. Cans of food, water jugs. I don't really think it's relevant to the case, though. I need to be careful. If the person living here isn't our friend laying in the dirt, he could be out there and armed. This casing belongs to a 9mm bullet. I don't see a weapon around here, though. Male, probably in his early thirties. Given the bullet hole in his head, I'd have to say he died from a gunshot wound. Looks like the bullet went straight through. I should probably take a look at that blood as well.
looks like someone had a bad day. The blood only seems to be coming from his head, so there likely wasn't much of a struggle. Oh, and would you look at that? Someone left a trail of blood. Yeah, I'm not going in there if I don't have to. Just have found a motive. Four hundred dollars cash. But why toss it away? Not the cheap stuff either. Strong. Some people would pay good money for this. The blood trail heads into that cave. I need to be careful. likely died from blood loss, probably not too long after crawling in here. Looks like this handgun was discarded, and rather hastily at that. It's safe to assume this was used at the scene. All right, I think that should about do it. I should reconvene with Evelyn before we head back to the precinct.
Hey, Ev. Hey, Matthew. Did you find everything you need? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, what do you think happened? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I'm gonna need to review a lot of it, but here's my theory. Our friend here on the ground came here to get his hands on some pills. Maybe during the deal, he had the bright idea that maybe he could leave with his pills and his money. So he took a gamble and stabbed his dealer. In turn, the dealer acted in self-defense and shot the guy, killing him. Scared, the dealer grabbed everything and ran, or at least got away as fast as he could with a stab wound. He tried to discard the evidence as he went, but he didn't really have time to hide it. He got to the cave before realizing he couldn't get any further, so that's where he stopped to bleed out and die. Jesus. Again, that's just my theory. There'll be a whole lot more review, and it's just a whole process. Yeah. Hey, Matt, can I ask you a question? What's up, Ev? Why? Why do you think this happens? What do you mean? A, a drug deal gone wrong? No. No, just... These people. Why do they resort to this? Just seems like some people don't see right and wrong. Maybe I'm just being naive, but I can't put myself in that headspace. Killing another person by choice? Hmm. I don't know if anything brings them to it. I, I think they may just be that way. Hardwired to do wrong. I don't know. I don't have much remorse for them. They've done bad. In my eyes, if you do something wrong, you deserve what's coming to you. You can't start sympathizing for them. That's when you start... Getting bad at your job. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, let's get back in the cruiser. Head back to the precinct. I need to sort through all of this. Yeah. Right behind you. You know, a police officer is definitely not what I expected from you. A man of the law. <laughs> Being a member of the police force doesn't exactly say much about your character, but it is a job aimed at keeping peace. Oh boy, I cannot wait to see how you screwed all of this up. Well, hey, don't stop on my accord. Head on out into your second trial. <laughs>